A while ago, I made a video about emergent patterns in self-organizing maps, or psalms, where I talked about what psalms are, how they work, and interesting patterns that develop in the psalm when it's trained in a certain way. If you haven't watched that yet, you should before watching this video. I ended that video by saying that it was still a mystery why the patterns form, and that generated a lot of interest in the comment section, with people suggesting different theories. After looking through these comments and doing some more experiments, I think I've come up with an explanation for the patterns that I'm confident in. The first thing I did was make an animation of the training process of the psalm, showing what it looked like after each iteration of the algorithm. That was cool, but unfortunately didn't really give me a whole lot of insight into how the patterns formed. Then I read some comments that suggested that the patterns were similar to a 3D lattice observed from certain viewing angles. While this may seem like a coincidence at first, it's actually not. Like I mentioned in the first video, the method used to generate the training data for the psalm creates an even spacing of all RGB color combinations for the desired number of training samples. Now, if we consider each RGB training sample as a point in 3D space, the training data actually forms a cubic lattice. And projecting this lattice onto a 2D plane forms the very same fractal star pattern as seen in the winning notes of the psalm. One of the features of the psalm is that it produces a 2D representation of a higher dimensional data set while preserving the topological structure. So not only does the psalm learn the colors present in the training data, but it is such a good learning algorithm that it also picks up on the spatial structure of the lattice. Another experiment I did to confirm this theory was to change the training data to instead consist of random RGB points. When these samples are graphed in 3D space, there's no lattice, just a random cloud of points. In this case, the resulting psalm still learns the colors. The output map itself looks the same as before, only now the winning nodes do not form a pattern. So from these experiments, I conclude that the patterns that were observed arise from the structure of the input training data, rather than from a property of the psalm algorithm. I'll admit that this result is a little disappointing. It would have been more interesting if the patterns came from the psalm algorithm. But I think the important lesson to be learned here is about the power of collaboration and problem solving, because all the thoughtful feedback on my first video was really the key to unraveling this mystery.